I was just talking about since your team has grown quite a bit in his eyes since that late January game against the Cavaliers. Certainly we're only in February, there's still a lot of basketball to be played, but is this a good measuring stick to see how far that development has come since that loss? Uh definitely. Um you know, we playing a team that's number one in our conference that we right behind and you know, last time we played them, you know, it was a loss that definitely got to us, so it's definitely a measuring stick for us to see how far we came and how far we need to go. What's what's been something that's impressed you just the way that the team just rebounded has developed and has been real all all told pretty pretty successful since that was? Um, it just it just shows shows what we're capable of doing. You know, once we, you know, be in a situation where we have to learn from playing against a, a, a top team like that and understanding what we have to do to be better, to not let that happen again, you know, especially if we want to continue to be, keep getting better. Uh, the, uh, is, are you guys, do you like the position chasing a team? Like, gives you a pretty clear target? I wouldn't necessarily say we chasing a team. We more so trying to get every single game we, we, we could get, you know, and get better every time we step out there on that court. And if that, if that comes with, us, you know, surpassing them or whatever it may be, then that's what it will be. But we're not looking at nobody like, you know, we chasing them. So it's not like kind of part of your planning process? No, nah, we're not, we not going in there saying, you know, we, we whatever game's behind Cleveland, we got to catch them, we got to catch them. You know, our, our main focus is us. You know, and as long as we worry about us and not nobody else, we'll be perfectly fine. The, uh, you played against LeBron when he was, you know, those years in Miami, it's almost hard to imagine someone playing better than he was right. statistically anyway. His numbers are off a little bit. Have you seen any change, decline in his performance? No, nah, LeBron is LeBron. You know, you got to understand it. the team dynamic that he had then and now is definitely different. Um, you know, uh, more so leading, you know, younger guys than what he was then. You know, he had an extremely veteran team when he was in Miami. Um, you know, this time around, I think he's taking you know, showing guys what it takes to win. You know, I think sometimes with that, you know, something's going to, going to drop off to give other guys the perfect, the, you know, the, the chance to do what they need to do. What's he seen from Jonas in the last three weeks? Um, he's just going out there playing. You know, he haven't been thinking. You know, one thing we always tell him: don't never overthink. Don't get don't get upset. You know, if you do something wrong or if you, you know, miss a couple shots, just go out there and play. You know, that's one thing he definitely been doing. And, you know, we just try to keep him with the utmost confidence every time we go out there on the court. Would you say you're a little more excited about a game like tonight? Or? Yeah, these games are always fun, you know. Because um, you're allowed to admit that? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, these games are always fun. You know, when you compete against top teams in this league, you know, if you're a competitor, you know, You'd be lying to you if they say these games wasn't fun and you look forward to it because you know the you know the crowd gonna be into it, you know everybody you know looking forward to it. So it's definitely fun. Can you, can you prove anything in a game like this, or is it like does it mean anything in the bigger picture, or is it one night? Um, I mean it's it's, it's another night. Like I said, it's 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 a chance to see where we where we are and playing against the best team in our conference and, you know, for us to go out there and compete and, you know, see what we got better on and maybe what we need to work on. You know, we still got a lot of basketball to play after them and, you know, it's another chance for us to continue to build and get better. People talk about the best teams in this league. You know, the list usually ends around four, right? There's right. three on West and Cleveland. Is that, how do you guys feel in that respect that people maybe don't Mention in the same breath. I mean, they never mentioned us before, so it's no thing for us to, you know, we can't get down about it. We just got to go out there and play, honestly. You know, um, hey, we, one thing, you know, I tell everybody else, we can't worry about what everybody else thinks. We, we only can worry about what we could do. And that's for us to go out every single night and try to win. What have you noticed about this conference this year in comparison to years past, where it was sort of like everything about yeah. it? Is, is, definitely changed you know you can even look look you know down from 10 9 8 7 you know all them guys definitely fighting for a spot when in you know recent years you know it was already set in stone you know the top three teams in the east and everybody else was you know at 500 you know so it's definitely everybody fighting in the eastern conference you know um 
we we not that conference that everybody used to say we were. And you know, you got to give cr credit to all the teams in this conference. Everybody went win. Joe Johnson is out there now, and you guys are, are one of the teams that reportedly have expressed interest. Is he a guy you'd like to see in a Raptors uniform? Uh, I mean, damn sure wouldn't want to play against him. Um, but <laughs> nah, but um, he's a great talent. You know, that's one thing you. you we leave, leave up into the front office to make that decision if it best fits fits us. But you know, you can never deny talent, and you know he, he definitely one of the best two guards. You know, I've played against, and you know, it'll be interesting to see what he do. You're a 500 games tonight, old man. Huh. I play 500 games. Really? <laughs> Y'all always tell me some new stats I, I have no clue about. I mean, uh, damn, 500. You have a great hair, yeah. <laughs> Watch next year. I have a great hair. So, <laughs> but um, um, I mean, it's amazing, man. Especially for me, just to do it, you know, and and, and you know, have the the win, winning whatever record it is, you know, it's always great, man. Just to have something that could go down in record books that, you know, um, you, you could you could see years from now.